We've just had a, a brilliant couple of days meeting people who are at the um, at the front line really, who, trying to equip the church for the issues of our day and it's been great to spend a bit of time digging into those issues, issues and uh, finding out what's at the heart of them and some of the history behind them and how we can address the things that our congregations and the church is facing. This is, this is a longer format, so it's not a short soundbite. We've actually had some time to dig deep into the issues and to consider and reflect and look at all of the evidence and the, uh, the, the underpinnings of it. I think it's really important to know that faith is consistent with reason and with science and that there is a strong foundation for the things that we're preaching, that we don't need to be apologetic or intimidated into um, intimidated out of the, the Christian argument. So I think quite a lot of people think that it's anti-intellectual to be Christian, that you have to park your brain in a, in a different department, uh, and that faith is somehow irrational. And uh, what this course does is to show the very rational foundations for believing what we believe that is actually consistent with science and with evidence and with the history of, of our culture. Oh, there's so many good things that come out of this course. Uh, it's a great opportunity for pastors to meet other like-minded pastors who are facing a lot of the same issues that they're facing and to network and to um, develop strategies around that, but also a time just to really um, reflect deeply, I think, on the issues that our culture is facing and how we as the church can help to shape those and engage positively, not just as pastors, but in terms of equipping our congregations. Actually what I'm looking forward to is that I get to hear all the other speakers and I learn a lot while I'm doing this and I think one of the things, there's so much content that you only skim the surface, like you can't retain it all at once, so I'm glad that I get to hear it more than once, I'm really looking forward to that.